Hello, my name is Karen Stringer and this is Learn Swahili Now. In this video, we will be continuing our discussion on noun classes by focusing on noun class 5, otherwise known as the G class. We will also be looking at demonstratives that accompany this noun class. Are you ready? Yes! This class is called the G class because the majority of the nouns found in this noun class begin with a J, followed by an I, an E, or an A. But there are lots of exceptions that I'll be showing you in this section. Let us begin. Okay, let's just look at a few examples to help you understand what I'm talking about. Django, building, Gina, name, Jambo, as in Jambo Hili, thing, Gigi, for city, Janga, for disaster, Jimbo, for state. All these are fun words that begin with G, I, or J, E. As I had mentioned earlier, there are exceptions. Even though these words look many, I can assure you they are more on the exception side. Lengo for go, Tanganezo for organization, Tumbo for stomach, Tendo for act, Tatizo for problem, Lango for gate, and Dimbui for dam or pond. They look like this in their singular form. However, you will see in their plural form, they will match the other ones that start with J-I. From our previous lesson, you know that demonstratives are simply words that show the position of objects in relation to the speaker. In English, they are represented by this, that, these, those. So, we're going to look at the demonstratives that go with class 5. Alright, so this is Haley, that is Hilo, and that over there is Lile. Very simple, isn't it? Yes! But how do we put all this to use? I will show you just how we make learning Swahili very simple by using demonstratives. Let us start putting everything together now. If you go back to the list of words I gave you earlier, how do you think you would say this building? If you said Jengo Hili, you are correct. Yay you! How about that name? That name. Did you say Gina Hilo? Gina Hilo? Well done. How would you say that goal over there? You would say Lengo Lile. It's important to note that even though the word for goal, Lengo, starts with an L, it still behaves the same way in terms of the demonstratives because it belongs to the same noun class. As you know, we are not learning these things just for the sake of you learning them. We would like for you to be able to make simple sentences and eventually have conversations. So, here we go. A good place to start is with adjectives because we always need adjectives for descriptions, right? 
adjectives that accompany nouns in noun class 5 will not take a noun prefix. I don't know if you remember, but a good example is in class 3, mti mrefu for tall tree. You can see the m accompanying the adjective. In noun class 5, this does not happen. We're going to look at a few examples. We have Jengo Zuri, a pretty building, Jina Refu, a long name, Lengo Ngumu, a difficult goal, Lango Pana, a wide gate, and Gigi Kubwa. If you look at these adjectives, they do not carry a noun prefix. In fact, they look just the way they might look without being attached to any noun. Using all the knowledge you have acquired up to this point, let us see if we can make a slightly complicated sentence. I live in this tall building. I live would be ni for I, na present tense, ishi, ni naishi, katika, in, jengo hili. Refu ni naishi katika jengo hili refu. If you still need help in terms of how to formulate a verb, please refer to my video on making simple Swahili sentences. How would you say he likes that name? He likes that name. Remember the subject prefix for he or she is a. As usual, feel free to pause and think about it before you listen to the answer. In this case, it would be Anapenda Gina Hilo. Anapenda Gina Hilo. Penda being the verb for like. A for he or she and na for present tense. Congratulations on getting through this segment. You can now add class 5 as one of the noun classes that you're familiar with. How confident are you? Are you super confident? Yes! I hope you are. But if not, please don't feel bad. Just take your time, go over the materials until you get it. I will see you in the next module where we will cover noun class 6.